Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today we're going to be looking at the same open source semicolon trick that we've seen a couple of times. Well, it seems to have expanded to gaming bots, and this person is posting about it in the GitHub community. I've found many packages using some weird stuff to hide code in plain sight. There are tens of similar packages, and he's saying it's a GitHub render vulnerability. I, I mean, I guess you could... Oh, okay, that's strange. So this one actually, for some reason, in this GitHub preview, doesn't actually show what it's doing, because you can just see import numpy. That looks fine. But in this code, let's see if we can, can see in this version. Oh, wait a second. Semicolon. Import base64 exec base64.decode. Um, and then a bunch of code. Now, if you look at this briefly, you'll never notice. And they, they'll, they use a couple of tricks, uh, although this one actually puts it in everything, which is kind of redundant. But a lot of them, they'll put the hidden code in one file you're probably not going to check. And it will include some legitimate code so that you might be fooled into thinking this is real. But up at the top, uh, we can see base64. Now this has spread beyond, because previously this was mostly in Discord, raiding, and crypto, spam, but this is more legit. Like, this is something, by legit I mean something that isn't totally unethical, and you might might think about people using, I don't know what Heyday is, but it's a game. Now, this about page here should tell you what you need to know. This is not quite right. Let's just search on GitHub if any of these other ones are legit. I think this is actually the game this is about. So this looks like this was probably the real one, because this one doesn't have the mysterious off-screen code. So this was then borrowed and turned into this project. And unless you're paying really close attention, it might even be worse on other operating systems. You may not see this down here. Eww, yikes. Now, I don't know if this is a GitHub vulnerability, per se. I think it would be good if they could put a warning, because there is no legitimate reason to ever do this. This is mostly a product of how Python works. It's a bit like the batch file we looked at in the previous video, where oftentimes obfuscation will come as a result of how a language works. Python has a very rarely used but semantically valid feature where if you put a semicolon, you can put two pieces of code on one line. Fair enough. Now what is a bit stranger is you can also put an infinite amount of white space after a command to this, and it is still valid Python. So that's how this works. Now let's actually uh, figure out what's going on here. I believe it says this is going to install some crypto libraries, so I've got a pretty good idea that this is going to then proceed uh, to get some further... Yeah, so there's encryption, we import Ferne, we execute this. I'm going to find out what, what this is. I have a feeling this is going to be another 1312 stealer. Or a similar project. I think they might have changed domains, but it's probably going to be the same idea. We end up on a Russian site. Okay, uh, so this must still be live, given it's got a cloud flare. And it does delineate by which repo it is, which is kind of interesting. So I'm just going to use the format I always do, which is I'll just make it another file for the next stage. And we'll dump the bytes. And then once again, we'll switch this out for, for a print. Because if it's if it says exec, that means it's going to be valid Python. It'd be better to just dump this out directly. And this one is weird because it, for whatever reason, it thinks it's a good necessary to install our encryption dependency again. But okay, uh, we don't need to reinstall that. And then we go to this, and this is a multi-line string that ultimately executes this, and then this subprocess command. Uh, simply drops another stage and executes it. Now we go to stage four, and this is stage four here. This is a pretty straightforward uh, Python stealer. It's pretty well designed. It's not obfuscated in any way. This is definitely not the most intelligent malware I've ever seen. Of course, you'd have to trace a couple of things. And amazingly, this domain is still up months afterwards. My my default assumption is an info stealer payload has a lifespan of a few weeks, but this guy uh, has been up unaltered for months. It also validates the Discord token just to avoid him getting any bad data. Now, another thing this thing has got going on, uh, and we could try and... Okay, I want to I wanna see what this is all about. 
I'm gonna make another. I'm just gonna dump out this because this is doing a similar trick to what I showed him on my other uh, videos where it inject it's actually injecting, which means every time you open your atomic wallet, the malware is going to run again. This is a really, really annoying payload. And let's also check out what this HVNC script is up to. Okay, that's got to be another detection somewhere. It's interesting. So this payload actually gets blocked uh, by a Cloudflare warning. So instead of that, your uh, program would actually end up uh, with... It would completely break. Well, that's good on Cloudflare for actually doing something about this. And the HVNC uh, has been taken down for some reason. It, it could be IP-gated, I guess. Don't really know why they'd still have half of this stealer going. And here is the uh, Chrome method. I am not going to show the whole thing, but it is using the Chrome remote debugging method that has become quite popular. So that's going to be all for this video. Once again, please be very careful with open source uh, projects, especially for questionable things or if they have a, s a spam anywhere. Another red flag here that I just thought of. This was all uploaded in one go. Sometimes that happens, uh, but it's a bit strange. Uh, the fact that this user doesn't really have... There's actually another oddity here, which is there's a different username that did all of the work. There's really not much going on here. So that's going to be all for this video. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Uh, I don't know why all these random print statements are here either. That's all from me for now. Bye!